Diego, I am in my second trial of a new mic. So if you hear Hannah playing a word game in the background, um, you would hear it more if I was recording without my new mic. Um, I actually do not believe in anything. I doubt everything. I was explaining to you why some people have different views of the Holocaust. Remember also that many, if not all, conspiracies have some degree of truth in them, just like mythological tales and legends and religions. Speaking of religion, may I suggest to remove Jewish from your wishing simply because nobody is prohibited from celebrating Hanukkah like Christmas. This distinguished put a separation from you and people who are wishing you well. I mean, I need to specify Jewish people. Just happy Hanukkah is, is very nice. Uh, spe uh, the specification sounds like you're pointing out Jewish and is louder and, and nice wishing. The specification sounds like pointing out you are not Jewish is louder than the very nice wishing that you are making. Also, do not have to be ashamed of you are Jewish. Be proud of your heritage. So, Diego, I've got a collection of comments here. Uh, first, speaking of religion, now, be absolutely sure I was not speaking of religion, at least I don't think I was. You started speaking about religion. So, um, micro correction, but nonetheless, um, a point I want to make. The the thing about there's a point in all conspiracies. The Holocaust denial, there is no value in that. The Holocaust did happen. Um, six million Jews died is the count. I know that number is disputed, uh, but I don't think there's valid disputes. Um, it's high. Um, and so... Maybe there's some truth in saying, well, it didn't happen exactly the way uh, the records were. Uh, there's some validity to that. But Holocaust denial, which is so popular, and I, I just want to say that the Holocaust did happen. Jewish people were targeted because they were Jewish. They were rounded up, trained to concentration camps and killed. And also, outside of the... Uh, concentration camps, uh, beginning with this breaking of glass, it became a, a government and a, and a people of the government attacking people of the nation. Uh, a terrible time in history, and, and if you are a Holocaust denier, I want to denounce you for being that. You, you get close, but you don't quite say it. Uh, and as long as we're talking about religion, uh, the Hanukkah thing, your, your point is valid, uh, you know, my phrase would be nicer if I reverse the y'all Jewish people. Uh, it is not there accidentally. It is there deliberately, and I will not take your advice. And it's for this reason that I, I wish my friend Adam happy Hanukkah today. I said Feliz Hanukkah, and he said Gracias. I said Donata. So he didn't say happy Hanukkah to me. So all I can do on a holiday that is one that doesn't mean uh, it's not a special day to me specifically in my greeting i'm just acknowledging that it is a special i recognize that it is a special day to some people and and also saying to all jewish people is a way of saying that i'm not jewish uh and i think of myself as a jewish people responding back as adam did to me today at, by the way, Adam is of Jewish heritage. Uh, some family members very close to him, including dad and sister, um, uh, have, of course, the same heritage he has. And, and they also have very active Jewish lives. I went to his mother's funeral. That was a very uh, Jewish uh, ceremony. Uh, my point is that, that Adam has a light on the uh, practices of Jewish and visiting a synagogue and some of the more active, visible practices of being Jewish. But nonetheless, he knows that I'm not Jewish, and he didn't reply and say, Happy Hanukkah to you. Uh, so I do feel like with this holiday, and I, I do think it can switch with Christmas, your comparison to Christmas is a valid analogy, but for some reason I think it hits a sour note here, because I've never had a Jewish person who knows I'm not Jewish. By the way, Diego, a lot of people think I'm Jewish. I'm there's a there's a, a time of the year where 
uh, young Jewish boys are seen in, uh, you know, tra tra transit hubs of New York, and they they do this uh, special uh, blessing, which is called a mitzvah, but it's a more specific mitzvah, and they wrap this leather band around your arm, and I don't know, it involves some props also, including maybe some smoke. I, I don't know. I guess that Catholics are more into smoke. I don't, I'm making up the smoke part. But the leather strap is an absolute certainty. And uh, and I've been asked if I'm Jewish and been offered that mitzvah. Uh, it's not countless times, but it is certainly more than 20 times. So for Jewish people to know that I'm not Jewish, to me it makes it more comfortable, feeling that they're more comfortable. Um and that's just the, the the sensitivity I have of the subject. That doesn't mean it's valid. It just means I put a moment of time into thinking, how does this sound to a Jewish person, and how would it sound to a person that's not Jewish? I wish the non-Jewish person today happy Hanukkah. Um, and she said, I'm not Jewish. So the, the, the your point is valid, though my choice is not random. It is thoughtful, and and I'm uh, status quo. Um, and the idea that I'm, I'd be ashamed to be Jewish if if I was Jewish, I might be ashamed to be in Jewish. I'm sometimes ashamed of being Catholic. Um, it, 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 it's hard to be Catholic. Um, given the Catholic Church inability to reverse the crimes against uh, boys and, and how secrecy has played so much into it and how secrecy perpetuates it. It is absolutely just infuriating to me that uh, additional victims uh, continue. Um, I had a friend close to me who was a, a, a victim of a, a sexual aggressor in a in a uh, of our school, uh, that man was fired and probably went to another school to teach and probably had additional victims. This goes all the way back to the 80s, um, early 80s. Uh, no, late 70s, early 80s. And now here we are decades later and we're still collecting additional victims. So um, whether I'd be Jewish and ashamed of being Jewish or tried to make it secret is something I, I won't uh, confirm or deny. Uh, I don't deny being Catholic, and I haven't become not Catholic. Um, but your point is valid.